Lou, can you tell in training camp if your defense is going to be good? I think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. I think that uh, at the end of the day, uh, with all the different drills we do, with all the different team periods, with all the things that um, – you know, we're doing here in training camp. I think it puts it all together for us. And, you know, you can see a consistency starting to form where the the drops, the highs and the lows aren't as big maybe as uh, they were last year. So we're certainly trending in the right direction. But until we go out there week one and put it on display, then, you know, that'll be the ultimate test. So you've got a couple of uh, veteran guys. Uh, Von Bell is back on the back end, Geno Stone, who led the conference in interceptions. And I know you played on that back end yourself. So that that rapport with those guys, knowing how important that communication is with you to them and with them to their teammates, how happy are you about having those guys? Well, so far it's been great. Um, You know, and again, you can see their veteran, both leadership, but their instincts on the field and kind of uh, anticipating what's going to happen before it ever happens and communicating that to the to the rest of the group. Um, you, you know, you can't put a price on that. So, so far, so good when it comes to that. You lost a great defensive tackle in free agency in DJ Reader, but you signed a great one in Sheldon Rankins. Now that you've been around him, what stands out? Yeah, two two different type of players, as you mentioned, both really good at what they do. Uh, again, an ult- another guy is an ultimate professional, goes about his business the right way, already helping the young guys. You can see his, he inserts his uh, leadership where needed, um, and uh, you know he brings that twitchy inside uh, pass rush, and you know he's 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 a strong guy too at the point. Uh, so, uh, you know, really really pleased to have him. On the edge, you have some depth, uh, no doubt. There's depth at every position group in this football team. It's well put together, there's no question. But there have been injuries and other reasons. Guys on the edge have missed snaps. So the younger guys now, okay, boy, more opportunity to show what I have. Have some of those guys caught your eye with those extra snaps? I think, as you mentioned, you know, with uh, Trey and Sam being down a little bit for a while, and now unfortunately with Cam, uh, with his injury, I think – their, their reps are going to go way up. They have in practice, and they will in the preseason. So it's only going to it's only going to help a for us to get a really good evaluation of some of the new guys, and then given uh, guys like Miles and Joseph Osai uh, some more reps, and you know they all they could use every one they get. I think Mike Hilton might be the most underrated player in the NFL. Do you agree? I mean, I think if you would maybe ask other coaches uh, that they would not say that. Um, but, uh, you, know, you know, we know we see it every day. We know what he does for us. Uh, Mike is such a valuable piece for us on our team. And, um, you know, again, you talk about another guy with great leadership and been there, done that type of guy. But, man, he can wreck a game in his own way. I guess the only position that we haven't addressed a little bit is that linebacker group, you know, and you've got a couple of uh, couple of KG veterans that have been around for a while, and uh, they know every detail of, of your defense, what, what you're trying to accomplish. How comforting is it to have Logan Wilson and Jermaine Pratt? Yeah, again, t- two guys that are, uh, as you mentioned, been around, forward thinkers. They're, they're problem solvers within series and during the game, during practice. Uh, now them on the same page with Vaughn being back and then Gino. You know, that, that four guys there, they can uh, – you know, really solve a lot of problems out there. And the, the communication has been outstanding. And, you know, those guys being around so long uh, has really helped. You face Joe Burrow every day at practice. How quickly did you realize the wrist is fine and he's Joe Burrow? Yeah, since he put the football back in his hand back in the spring, uh, he's made some unbelievable throws uh, here in camp um, where it's either the receiver or it's nobody. Um, and, uh, you know, Joe's Joe and, and he's – you know, he's had a great camp and, um, you know, anxious to watch him play. The offensive line for the Cincinnati Bengals is the biggest one I've ever seen in captivity. How about you? Is it the biggest group you've ever seen, Coach? Yeah, yeah I walk by those guys every day in the stretch line, and I, I am definitely looking up. Um, they, they, they are a massive group, and, um, you know, I know Joe appreciates it, that's for sure. In week six on Sunday night football, the Bengals face the Giants in the Meadowlands. Your son is on the scouting staff with the New York Giants. What, what is that week going to be like for the Anarumo family? Well, all I keep hearing about is this tailgate prior to for the hundred some odd people that will be out there and who's making what throughout the family. So uh, the good news is I'm out of all that. Um, everybody knows don't ask me for tickets because I don't have any. Um, but it'll be great. It'll be great for, you know, for our family to 
kind of go on both sides. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, though, they, they'll, it'll be a uh, Houday Nation there uh, when we walk into that place. The AFC North has a very diverse set of skill position players. I mean, they've got everything. Everything you could think you want, it's there in the AFC North. If you, you can you play against them, you know, twice a year, yeah. if you can game plan against them, does it kind of take care of everybody else? I mean, everybody's a little bit unique. Our, our division is just, uh, you know, you get your nose bloodied, you know, in those games. And, uh, you know, it's it's just old old school football. Even though the, the new schemes and things like that, it comes down to, always seems to come down to, you know, a short yardage stop or a power run game or, you know, whatever it may be. We just know we're getting our hands full when it comes to those six games for sure. Final question from me. How has last year's first round draft pick, Miles Murphy, grown? I think he's progressing. I think he uh, kind of picks something each day to, to get better at. You know, you can see his athleticism show up. And I think he's pride, priding himself this training camp on, you know, the run game, getting better at that, separating from blocks. And you can see he's a strong guy. So you can see the, the progress there. And, and, you know, it's got to continue for him to get to where he wants to be. Coach, as uh, the legendary Paul Brown once said, the game's not too big for you, son. It seems like you got a couple of young defensive backs that the game is not too big for them. Talk about some of those young guys that are impressing you back there. Well, you know, happy so far with those guys. Again, uh, you know, Josh Newton, you know, taking a bigger role. And, uh, you know, we, we're, we're kind of throwing them out there. Um, early in in preseason we'll, we will throw them out there early in preseason along with all the other guys you know just to see how see how they do in live competition now they're out here covering you know our receivers and and doing a good job they'll have they'll have their moments they're rookies and they and they will but overall that whole group i'm, I'm pleased with we look forward to the day where you get the well-deserved head coaching opportunity that yeah. we think is coming your way. But in the meantime, we're happy to still have you here in Cincinnati. Appreciate the time. Have a great season. Much appreciated, guys. Always a pleasure.